sure I am. All right. <laughs> Are we ready? I think we're about ready. All right. So, uh, you ready for our trip? I, yeah, I couldn't be more ready. I mean, I am excited about this You've trip. had everything planned for a few weeks it's, now, haven't you? It, yeah, it's the trip planned farthest ahead ever. Right. I mean, just because... Right, because you're planning our next trips after this yeah. right now, yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, but on this one, I did it way ahead because I had kind of a lull period where I didn't have a lot of other things going on. So I thought I'd plan a trip and uh, here we have it. All right. So we leave in just over two weeks. Today is Friday and we leave two weeks from next Wednesday, I think. I think or so. Tuesday, maybe. Tuesday we fly to the Bay Area. Yeah. And then we fly from there and then we come back, we come back to Reno. So... All right, we've both got our spreadsheets. Uh, and you've got your reading glasses, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm set. All right. So as I said on, uh, let's see, on Wednesday we fly we? to... Yeah. No, we, go ahead, where are we going? We're going, we're flying to um, Sao Paulo mm -hmm. <laughs> in, in Brazil mm -hmm. and but we fly through, I can't remember where we fly through. It's not Atlanta. Atlanta, that's right. Yeah. So, long flight, but it should be great. But just two flights. Yes, that's not San too bad. San Francisco, Atlanta, Atlanta, Sao Paulo. All right. And uh, have you ever been there? No, I've never been to Sao Paulo. You have, though. Yeah, have you been to Brazil? Yes. I think, well, briefly, when we went, so we've been, we're doing <laughs> South America, and when we, um, did our trip in South America in 2019. We went from Paraguay to Uruguay to um, and, and went to um, Iguazu Falls in there. And to get to Iguazu Falls, we drove, our taxi drove us a little bit through Brazil. Yeah. So I guess that's the only drove time I've been in Brazil. Paraguay, across through the Brazil. border in the Brazil, across the border in the Argentina, right. all in an hour. I guess that doesn't count as being in no, a country, does it? Probably not. Okay. Anyway, I was in Sao Paulo, and uh, but I was, uh, I was uh, well, I, I can tell you it was December of '79. Uh, just a few years ago. Yeah, and I was uh, I was forty. Kinda, I was kind of ill at the time. Right. Uh, so I was yeah, kind of laid up and. Is that not, when you saw the doctor was there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be gone for about seven weeks. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. And as usual, we kind of we have a lot more flights on this trip because South America's duh is a big continent, and so we anyway we fly into uh, Sao, pa Sao Paulo, and then we're going to drive from there. So why don't you explain what we're doing? In that part oh, in of Brazil? Brazil, in Brazil. Okay, yeah, we, we were in Sao Paulo a couple nights, and then we pick up a car, and uh, uh, so that we go head south uh, along the coast a little ways, and then we turn and go west because we're we're trying to get to Iguazu Falls again, right? Because we haven't been there for four years, right? So, uh, it, it's it's a fantastic place. Oh, it's yeah. So, I, I, I had no idea before I went there the first time. It is should be on everybody's bucket list. Right. It's so phenomenal. We're, so we head uh, south in the, in the car. And I, I just, uh, in, well, the first thing I noticed when I started looking at this area was there aren't a lot of accommodations. I mean, compared to some places, mm -hmm. which is, which means it's not super tourist, touristy. Right, right. Uh, I mean, there are places, but there's just, like some places, there's some, right, right, you know, right, it's right, just right. all full of... Uh, but it was, the other interesting thing was, uh, like, uh, we go to Curtiva, and that's a Germanese, Japanese town. So every town has its immigrant population. That's Alex. Alexa, stop. Like, uh, we go to Curtiva. And that's German, German and Japanese. So it was settled by German and Japanese immigrants, immigrants right? And that's a city of over a hundred thousand. I think. But it, they still it, have the, um, the culture, the German 000. and Japanese culture, right? Well, they do, but uh, so they're predominantly German and Japanese immigrants. But uh, the park, uh, their big park, has a uh, one of one of the attractions there is a Ukrainian church. 
Oh, cool. You know, it wasn't built in that spot as a church. Right. But the U Ukrainian immigrants, you know, to celebrate their culture, they... I think built this little wood church oh, okay, in, cool. this, in the city park. So, what other cultural immigration well, settlements? Well, we go to Joinville, uh -huh. and uh, that's Scandinavian, mostly uh -huh. Norwegian. They have their Nordic fest there, very popular throughout oh, cool. Brazil. People from all over this Brazil. This should be just fascinating for, I think. for Nordic yeah. fest, and then we go go to Florianopolis. Uh, which is I don't know the immigrant. That's a little too more touristy. That's just known for its beaches. And, uh -huh. And uh, and such. Uh, Trestilti. Well, I don't know how the if you pronounce the double L as a Y. Well, Trestias. That's an Australian. And and I remember the uh, place. Is that Australian no, or no, Austrian? Austrian. I mean. Austrian. Did I say Australian? Well, I don't know. Anyway, Austrian. And the place we're staying at, you know, it, it the whole town looks Austrian. Cool. Cool. That uh, architecture. Okay. Then uh, there's another place we go to uh, that's Italian and Polish. Oh, and I see on here one of them's Urbici is Portuguese, Italian, German, oh. African, and Latvian, it says. In Latvian. Yeah, the, oh, a lot of Latvians wow. immigrated there. Wow. And of course, uh, Africans were brought there as slaves. Right. So, after, so we take about a week to get down to Iguazu, is that right? Uh, something like that, yeah. I think. Well, and we're maybe staying... no more than a week. Uh, well, from the time we arrive, it's twelve days. Oh, okay, and then we're staying initially on the Argentine side. No, no, I'm sorry, on the on the, on the Brazilian side. Right. Which... And our friends Bonnie and Brian are flying in and meeting us there, right? Yeah, and a couple couple uh, things there. Uh, first of all, the Brazilian side, we did not go to the falls on right. the Brazil, so we haven't. And when I was there, the first time I was there in the 70s, I don't remember which side I was on, but I think it was Brazilian, but I'm not sure. I think it must have been because I know I stayed Brazil from there. I was uh -huh. going right, into right. Brazil. But, uh, and the other thing, uh, you, you mentioned uh, these people we're traveling with, right? <laughs> yeah. Bonnie and uh, Brian. Brian. Yeah. And uh, we've traveled with them before. Right. It's been five and a half years. Right. We've traveled with them one time. Uh-huh. Uh, five and a half years where, hey, you want to go on a trip with oh, us? Oh, now, come on. You want to go? And no, 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 it's understandable. They always have a, a good excuse. Uh, I think Bonnie, uh, well, there's no one uh, available to feed the parrot and, uh, or the parakeets or Don't whatever. Don't believe a word and, he uh, says. <laughs> what? And then, okay. and then she said, uh, well, Brian's getting hodophobia. Uh, Hodophobia? H-O-D-O phobia? Hodophobia? I don't have any idea what that Fear is. Fear of travel? No, he's not. And I no, I'm just, they always have an excuse. A good excuse. Except that they don't have a parrot. I, I, I I'm not clueless. When they gave up, when I got that excuse, I thought, <laughs> ah, maybe they just don't want to travel with us. <laughs> We're looking forward to traveling with them. <laughs> Okay. Well, why did it take five and a half oh, years? Oh, because well, I don't know. There was okay. a there was a pandemic in there too. Yeah, okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're looking forward to traveling with them. We meet them uh, over there in the Brazil side of Iguazu Falls, mm -hmm. and then we go and spend one and, night. And we on spend the... most of the rest of the trip uh, with them. Yeah. From and that we, point. Yeah, and from the, from from uh, Brazil, we go into Argentina, spend one night at the wonderful hotel overlooking the falls that we've been. We stayed at last time right. on the Argentine side, right? And then um, we f f take a plane from there to right. the town of Salta. Is that right? Yeah. It's interesting. You look on a map, and it's like looking at a map and saying, "Oh, it's not that far from San Francisco to Los Angeles." I mean, from from Chicago to San Francisco, and it's kind of the same kind of thing. It's a long yeah. flight yeah. to the. To the western part of right. um, I mean, Argentina. initially I thought we'd go from there to Buenos Aires and then run a car and drive to the wine region, which is straight west. Right. All in Argentina. Right. And then I saw how far it is, how long it takes. And so we're just flying from Iguazu directly. It's a two-hour flight. Then we fly, you know, we're there. Uh, and then we, when we, we fly, make a loop there, visiting some we, wineries yeah. and tasting wine. and Yeah, and it's... it's uh, Geographically, it's got a lot of mountains, and it's, looks it looks like looks a beautiful, beautiful area. Yes, yes. And it's, uh, it's, well, it's not an unknown region as far as tourism goes, but it's a little bit out of 
off the path of anything. Right, right, right. You have to have that as a destination. Right. Uh, so, yep. you know, a lot of people do. I mean, there's a lot of tourism there, but uh, right. it's because it's a big, you know, there's right. mountains and wineries. What more could you want, you know? Right, exactly. Uh, so we fly from there then to, to Buenos Aires. To, to Buenos Aires, right. which is another two-hour flight. Uh, and then we're three nights in uh, Buenos Aires. Uh, which we really enjoyed when yes. we were there last time. Uh, we went to, last time we went to some amazing steak restaurants, meat oh, restaurants. Yeah. Back oh. then they weren't terribly expensive. It'll be, they have bad inflation there right now, and so it makes mm. things complicated. So it'll be really interesting how that works. We'll, the whole, we'll find yeah. out how that all works. There's we'll deal multiple with. official exchange rates plus a black market exchange rate. And we've, we've looked at YouTube videos and stuff that we'll find out and yeah, we'll I, report on how the experience goes. Yeah, and goes. I don't, I'm still not convinced they're all uh, totally accurate in what they say. They all seem to say the same thing, but we're going to find out. We'll find out. Uh -huh. And then from Buenos Aires, we fly to Ushuaia, which is the southernmost tip of Argentina. Yeah, that's a four hour domestic flight. Wow, four hours. That's like flying literally yeah. across the U.S., isn't it? Almost, yeah. Yeah. And then in Ushuaia, we catch a uh, Australis cruise, four-day cruise, which we did before also, and it was phenomenally good last time. And we're good. so we're going to do that again. Can't yeah. wait. Yeah. Almost, we're almost time of year-wise. It, it's um, almost. spring down there, and it's yeah. almost exactly the same. We had pretty good weather it's last time. The same time. as with last time. As yeah. last time, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I mean, the Iguazu Falls were only uh, like nine days difference. Right. And so I don't know. We're a little, yeah. So it should be interesting. Should be well, you know, and weather can change a lot weather in the spring. Change. I mean, it's, right. we were in Europe in spring last. Right. Last northern but, but hemisphere. But it was a right? very enjoyable. Uh, yes. Cruise, four-day cruise. Very, very. We stopped at glaciers, and we stopped at the, you know, the, the, the Cape, and we right. stopped. Yeah, it was. So anyway, and saw penguins. It was wonderful. So right. I'm looking forward to that too. Right. And then. So we get yeah. off in Point Arenas. Point right. Arenas. Then we take uh, uh, the same bus that we took last time. From Point Arenas to Puerto Natales, right? Oh yeah, Puerto Natales. And that's where we get another car. Which is just a few hours bus, three or four out, four hours. I, th I Going don't remember. North, yeah. yeah. And it was interesting countryside too. Mm -hmm. Very um, interesting. Yeah. And then when we get there, uh, what happens then? Well, we get a car, I think, and we go. Oh yeah, um, we we'll go back to Argentina. And we'll, but that's the mountains where there's a lot of hiking and phenomenal scenery of the Patagonian mountains there, I guess, right? Yes. And so we're staying at several places which we sh should be able to just enjoy the mountain scenery, I think, and hike yeah, maybe. You, yeah. Or even if we don't hike, it'll be phenomenal. It's, yeah, lakes, glaciers. Really tall mountains, and that's something we haven't ever done before. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Yeah, that we didn't. Right. Yeah, we took uh, a ferry last time from there, uh, continuing north. But this mm -hmm. time we're mm -hmm. we're stopping, renting a car, and we're in Chile. But we spend, I think, a night in Chile. But then we cross the border. Into so that's Argentina. about a week in that Patagonia right countryside there, and then we take, return the car back in Puerto Natales again, and we fly again from Puerto Natales. Up to Fruita, is that right? No, uh, Frutilla? Uh, no, Puerto Montt, right? Oh, Puerto Montt, okay, yes, yes. We're yes. not staying there, that's why it's not on there. Right. There's a desk. Right, know. and then we'll... So, so that's then, a chill in Chile going north. Into the, into well, the Lake District of right. Chile. Right, last time it was a four-day uh, ferry ride. To get there, this time we're flying. And this time we're flying. And, and then we ran... And that area had volcanoes, it was also just... Really, really beautiful area. That's, yeah, very that, green. That's almost a four-hour flight too. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I think so. If it took us four days in the ferry, twenty-four hours a day running. Now we do each one of those right. in a night. Yeah. And then we so we go around that lake district for a while, and then yeah, the Ch now we're yeah they were in Chile. Right. For the rest of the trip. And then Bonnie and Brian fly home, and we're gonna. We, we all fly to Santiago on the same, Santiago, the capital of Chile, on the same plane. And then they're going to fly home from mm. there, and we're going to spend a few days in Santiago. I think we're on the same plane, aren't we? I, I don't know. I 
think that's what she said. Anyway, well, we might that's be. a long way away. Yeah, we don't that's need to long, figure that out yet. That's not till November. So this will be like November. We get to Santiago on November 6th, if everything goes according to plan. And we haven't been there before either. So Santiago? Santiago. Right. Last time we it was in the plan when we went right. there, went, started on the trip, but there was a, a little do, domestic... domestic. Uh, Protests, protests, riots, I guess, and we decided to skip Santiago. Yeah, then we just a, actually stayed in the Lake District longer, which we might not have done, and realized right, and how really, wonderful it was. We right. really enjoyed it. So, and uh, yeah, then we just flew home from the, right. that southern part without really doing Santiago. Yeah, but this time we're yeah. Hopefully that's everything. The plan. Be, yeah, hopefully everything's. Uh, it's peaceful. Yeah. And both, yeah, because I mean, uh, Argentina's having their national elections while, we're, while there. we're Yeah, while we're there, toward the end of the right. our time there. Yep. So, okay. So uh, you're getting excited. I am. I, I think I think it's going to be a really, really good trip. I and do too. I feel good, you know. Yeah, both of I us mean, are. We're getting our flu vaccine and our. Um, other, another vaccine next week before we go, and so yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, last trip we were all everybody got the some bug, and you know, kind yeah. of slow, you know, it just slows you as, down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this, well, I'm going healthy. I Me think. too. Yeah. Me uh, too. Unless something happens in the next two weeks. But no, nothing's. No, happen. I feel great. So. Me too. I, I think. It, I think we'll have a good time. Oh, and we always we. We adjust if we need to, but it'll, I'm really looking and forward to it. And it will be great traveling with Bonnie and Brian. Yes, it will. Okay? No, yep. uh, just so, so we got that straight. Yep. And we'll make lots of videos, and they won't all get published right while we're there, but um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Most, most everybody who's watching is probably has, but um, it's fun to see our channel grow. So thank you. Right? Yeah. What's a, how many uh, subscribers do you have now? We have 437 and I think the last time we made a trip plans video before our last trip we just had just over a hundred so oh, okay yeah so it's exciting I'm, I'm, I'm not doubting your numbers but I'm going to check them anyway. yeah definitely I'm not sure <laughs> all maybe, right maybe that's right next video will be from Sao Paulo I suppose uh, yeah 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 See you there. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.